the entire purpose of tefillin and putting on tefillin is to curb the desire for masturbation and to rechannel that energy back into the head and into the bicep, which is considered, the bicep is considered the strength of man. Like Papa used to have big biceps. This is a very deep, deep principle. Tefillin is put on when you become bar mitzvah at the age of 13. That's when you start your obligation. And one of the things that's led me to this is that the din of the word tohu is 13. Tov has a vav, hey has an aleph as the din, and vav has a vav as the din. That's 13. And so what we really start at 13, which is our start of our sexual potency, that we put on to fill in to channel that sexual potency. And instead of it going out the yesod in the genital area, it comes back into the brain where it originates from. Remember that the bracha for tefillin is only put on the arm to fill. There's no bracha in the, in the head to fill in because it's above brachos. It's in the etzilio world. The berea world is where brachos comes from. And for that you put on the hand to fill in. And what do you do with the hand to fill in? First of all, it's put on the left hand, the hand of strength. You see, I think that the whole idea here is to get you how to handle the lights and energy from the world of tohu, the world that's stronger, the lights that are stronger. And there's no doubt that the, the, the strength in the body is a sexual urge. And how the person... How the person handles the sexual urge is how he handles his life. I'm not trying to make myself holier than thou. I masturbated every day when I was 13 till I was 20. I couldn't sleep at night. When I was 31, I'm not thir about 20, 30, I started putting on to fillin. I'm now 70, 70, what am I? 73. I've never missed a day of to fillin in all these years. To fillin is my mitzvah. And I've transformed this energy over the years with an understanding and a principle within it. That's why it's one of the major mitzvot. It's an oat, along with Shabbos, and the bris. <laughs> There's a tie-in between the bris and tefillin. It's being an oat. And so this mind-boggling energy that makes a man unable to sleep has to be rechanneled upward to its source instead of outward. And this, quite frankly, is the great secret. You put it on your left arm, the block goes on the bicep, the lower part, the, the thing facing into the heart. And then the 
straps around the hand, around the, the forearm, which is another uh, sign of man's strength, the ama, it's another word for penis, and then wrapped around the middle finger. Need I say more? And when I was a child, I used I wasn't a child, I'm a man, 13. I used to masturbate only with my left hand, that same hand. Because the left hand is, has more feel than the right hand's strength. I mean, firmness, so to speak. So this is a great deep, deep secret. Just want to put down a couple of things here. By it being, it goes back up, you see? So you put on the arm block, then you put the head block on, see? You put on the arm block and you wrap the seven down into the hand. And then you put the head block on. And then you come back and put the hand on. The, the, the fingers. Tie it. So these are deep secrets which we've talked about and which you can imagine about. But the source of the semen in the body is considered the brain. And you can see how the brain straps go down into the netzak and hood area, the straps of the head, into the netzak and hood, which are the testicles, which produce the semen, so to speak. And so this comes back up into the source. See? So how you use this semen, how you use your sexual potency, is the whole, is the, well, that's the secret of life. And once it's back into the source, this is in Kundalini Yoga and all those things, you know, once it's back into the source, it's up into the head. Theoretically, that's why the hair is locked. Back into the head. And then it doesn't come out. When that occurs, you'll be able to handle the Gavoro, the Gavora of the world of Tohu and the original uh, 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 way that Hashem, HaKadosh Boroku, uh, started off the world and the world of Tohu, the lights of the world of Tohu with Gavora. And that's why the tefillin of the arm is put on the left arm. Gavora. It's strengthening our left side. And the whole secret in my Judaism and my tennis and things is to strengthen the left side. To make the left side capable of handling like the right side is in normal life. And when that occurs, you'll be able to handle the lights from the world of Tohu. And the original creation. And understand about everlasting life and death. And be able to expand yourself within this world that we're living in now.
So, these all things come out in symbolic form, you know, in, in secret forms. But this is the real deal, you know. And please understand it, that this is, in my opinion, one of the major secrets in Judaism.